from the whole town. Poser is the name, and this is, uh, well, uh, um, one wacky town. Don't go that home. Don't go that home. I'm the lit, I'm the butt, I'm the chief, and Squirt is... The coolest guy around. Well, you love the house. Oh, yeah. When the fire alarm bell rings, I, me, I take control. So with steamer, Fontaine, uh, like Crystal and Brook. You the monkey. <laughs> well, our job is to take care, and I always make the play. Well, we're more of a team, sort of. Who saves the day? Everyone wants our help. Well, only in your dreams. Yeah. Hmm. Bonehead hollow spine is... I tell you, boss, you were screaming. Uh, uh, no. Uh, what? Well, well, the house. The house. Like by mid afternoon. Whoa! It's even hotter than that swimsuit edition. <sighs> A gentle shower will cool us off. That's not rain. The trees are sweating. <laughs> we got a coat blue out on Cliffside Drive. That's a broken down freezer at the ice cream shop. Mmm, ice cream. Captain Remarkable does it again! I have saved the refrigeration unit with my super skills. No need for you to bother, rescue persons. Ice cream is ready. Hooray, Captain Remarkable! Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, when you do... One super duper multi mega humongo mondo Sunday supreme, please. Oh, boy. I'm gonna have one of those. Oh, sold out! <laughs> Oh, could be makeable. Super gulping powers activate! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. That Super Sunday has given me oh, a super ice cream headache! Oh. Serves you right, Super Hog! Juggling those school buses. It's, it's. Hmm? Hey, is that who I think it is? Captain Remarkable! But he's a good guy. I don't think a good guy should go around juggling school buses and taking the kids' lunch money. <laughs> Keep thinking there, Steamer. We want to go again! What a ride! Whoa, whoa, yeah! I think downing that Super Sunday in one gulp has frozen Captain Remarkable's brain. <laughs> hmm, a stereotypical evil laugh. The brain freeze has numbed the lobes, controlling his sense of justice and morality. Super Siphon Powers, activate! Uh, uh, hold it, Captain Remark... Uh, remarkably evil? That money is for the local orphanage. <laughs> Yuck! Super villain backwash! He's the most totally cold hearted super villain ever! We need a, a sort of, um, to thaw his brain! We've got to lure him to the hottest spot in Bonehead Hollow! These hot springs should melt that frosty head of Remarkables! No evil villain worth his salt can resist plundering the bingo jackpot from a bunch of old folks! Under a B, 52. <laughs> and under E for evil, Captain Remarkable, right on schedule. I'll take that jackpot, John. What's that he's holding on to? Looks like a dump truck full of hot tubs. <laughs> That's really not nice. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha!
That Captain Remarkably Evil really thinks he's hot stuff. Tar hardening. What a marvelous idea. If I wasn't so evil, I'd say thank you. Yeah, my trick knee's acting up. Well, that means we're in for a snowstorm. <laughs> <laughs> Reminds me of the blizzard of 43. Chill out, he says. Ha! It was a joke! How can I know he froze his sense of humor, too? Soon the entire world will be frozen under a remarkable pile of ice. <laughs> the ones that really sting are the ones with the frozen mammoths in them. We've got to stop him. We need help. The only way to fight evil is with more evil. As you can see, Captain Remarkably Evil is on track to capture 60% of the evil doings market share. This will mean a serious downturn in your evil earnings for the next decade. Crush all will crush him! The mighty Cyclops is so mad. He's seeing double! Dr. Rhymestein will take him down! I'm gonna rhyme him out of town! <laughs> After I finish coating this town with a remarkable layer of ice, no one will be able to stop me. <laughs> Roses are red, and though your head has turned blue, we are the evil ones round here, not you! Get him, Crusher! Careful! You're heading for a serious back injury. Remember, back straight, knees bent, and crush! I don't believe my eye. Oh, his crushing technique is amazing. Could you be a little more careful? For a fourth evil villain in this town, there's no room! So hit the road now, or be sent to your doom! A single raindrop paused on a persimmon leaf, waiting for... Evil! <gasps> no! Not haiku poetry! <gasps> The highest form of poem, and it doesn't even rhyme. I give. You are a man of great ability. We bow to your superior eh, eh, evility. I suppose I could use an evil sidekick. Or three. Why are the evil villains always such useless morons? Comic relief? Together, we shall rule a world of snow and ice. Could we get some team jackets? Maybe with our names on the back. Ooh, mittens would be just the thing. I like the kind that has a string. <laughs> uh, uh, Keep the hot stuff coming, guys! Evil sidekicks, activate! Come on! Up and at him! Hello! This is not a spa! We're under attack here! Let's thaw that frozen turkey! Uh -oh. Careful, you could put someone's eye out with that thing. It's Captain Remarkable without his what? suit. Where am I? What, uh, what happened? Now is the chance to rid me and use of Bonehead Hollow's number one, a uh, goody two shoes. Wendell, use your potion. G -g 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 Garage! Ah, gee. <sighs> uh oh, we're out of steam. 
steam? With an evil partnership, we'll do just fine. What have I done? I've introduced the concept of teamwork to three super villains. And what better leader than me, Dr. Reimstein? Nuh uh. Crusher called evil leader first. He stamped it. Yeah! Oh! I. Oh, Only Cyclops has the vision to lead us to new heights of evil. Crush what you can't catch. C -c 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 crush! Oh. Ah. Cold, pure melt water from a crystal clear northern glacier. Uh, iceberg. How refreshing. Uh, how is he? Like an iceberg. Oh, mammoth sweat. I need for the costume party. Let me guess, it's a duck, right? <laughs> yeah. I love dressing up as a duck. What costume are you gonna wear? Hmm. I thought I might go as the coolest guy on the planet, which is to say, myself. That's no good. You have to have a costume. The big duck says so. Let's see. No hope. No. No. Ah, nothing here captures the inner squirt, the twinkle in my eye, my cheeky laugh. Woo! And most of all, my fantastic sense of light! Oh! Humor. Hey! <laughs> Yikes! That's it! I'm sorry. Huh? You, you can't have that one. Why not? <clears throat> Mr. Rukovich told me nobody was to have that costume. Please take it off, Faye. This looks pretty good. But it's dangerous, sir. You see, if anyone should wear it who is unworthy of the title of Jester, they will... Unworthy? Steam? How many firefighters does it take to change a light bulb? Two! One to change the light bulb, and the other to operate the ladder! <laughs> What's happening? They will be sent back a thousand years in time until he has earned his jester's costume. Ah, finally, the entertainment has arrived. Yeah! Oh, yeah. It's true. I've fallen back in time. Do it then. Begin. Amuse us, Jester. Okay, okay. <laughs> and why not? I've probably got jokes none of these guys have ever heard before. Ah, uh, here's a great one. Uh, there's this astronaut, and he's sitting on the launch pad in his rocket when suddenly the phone rings. Uh, astronaut? Rocket? Phone? Mm. These words are strange to my ear. Maybe it's my accent. <laughs> there's this ass! Throw not. Enough of this madness. There is no doubt you are a fool, but a jester. Ah. Wait a second. I'm a thousand years in the past. There are no astronauts. But uh, this is still a great joke. Uh, I'll give you the background info. You see, an astronaut is a guy who goes up in the rocket. And the rocket is something you use to send people up into the sky. Ah, you mean like a boot. Huh? What are you doing here? Like, my name's Crystal Line. Huh? Are you okay? 
I'm fine. Those crates broke my fall. What was in there, anyway? Um, apples and arrows. And so I <laughs> was transported back in time, and now here I <laughs> am, stuck in the Middle Ages. And if I can't <laughs> find a way to be funny, I'll just <laughs> be here forever. And the worst part of it is, right about now, the new adventures of the Torch is on TV, and I'm missing it. No problem. We have entertainment here, too, you know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going out, Mr. Punch, and you must look after the baby. <laughs> Judy, you've got just 48 hours to get in there and rescue the young prince. Ooh. And that's the news. And now here's Judy with the weather. Thank you, Mr. Punch. This afternoon will be overcast. I hate this place. The streets are covered in filth. There's nothing to do. And wow, oh, I can hardly walk in these jester shoes. Like zooms, you have to be more positive. Hey, lunch from Filthy Fred the Pie Man will cheer you up. Uh, there's your pie. <laughs> Why am I suddenly not hungry anymore? You paid me a goat and two chickens, so I owe you half a chicken change. <laughs> no! It's okay! You can keep the change! Huh? Well, thank you, kind sir. Sheesh! It's no wonder nobody would laugh at my jokes. This place is depressing. <laughs> There's nothing funny about it. There's Malcolm the Juggling Executioner, Edwin's Rat Circus, not to, like, even mention the joke of gold. Believe me, no joke is golden if you don't perform it in front of the right audience. No, the joke of gold was, like, the greatest joke of all time. It was, like, so funny, it was engraved onto a page of solid gold a thousand years ago. That sounds just like what I need. If I can get my hands on this joke of gold, I'll be funny enough to get back to my own time. <laughs> you gotta take me to it. Like, zoons. Okay, but you won't like it. Like, the joke of gold is in there. But I have to warn you, it's guarded by a fearsome beast. Uh, a uh, dragon? Like, it's much worse. A giant frog? I challenge you, captain of the joke of gold. Oh, the only way to defeat the terrible beast is to use the legendary weapon, Egg Salad Burn. <laughs> I have an idea. Excuse me, Jester coming through. Come on, move it, guy. Oh, Crystalline, could you pass me that hot soup? You don't need strength. You need good old 21st century know-how. And back home when I can't open a bottle, I run it under hot water, loosening it by expansion. Egg salad bar is mine. Huh? This isn't a sword, it's a fork! A salad fork! Oh, how can I possibly defeat that overgrown toad with a salad fork? You couldn't! That's why there's, like, a giant spoon in there as well! Like, now you're ready to battle to the death! <laughs> well, if you're asleep, I'll just leave then. Oh, fish! Oh, I hate these stupid jester shoes! Way to go, Squirt! Look at his fancy footwork! He looks like he's being attacked by, like, an angry piece of spaghetti! I could really go for some pasta, or maybe, like, some veggie stew! Wait a second. Like, maybe the way to beat a piece of spaghetti is with a fork and a spoon. Hey, yeah, that is, like, so smart. Yeah. Maybe we should tell Squirt about that. Squirt! Use the fork and the spoon like you would on a piece of spaghetti. Oh, 
that hurts. Come on, I was only kidding around. Amuse us, Jester. It's great to be back here at the Black Knight's Castle. We got a really big shoe lined up for you, starting with a little number I like to call the Joke of Gold. Yay! Woohoo! Woo How many centurions does it take to change a Colosseum torch? Mm. Two! One to change the torch, the other to bear the golden standard of the mighty Caesar! Present day, here I come! <sighs> huh? Centurions? Colosseum torch? This joke is so old! What? You mean I rescued the joke of gold for nothing? No! Yes. <laughs> now that's funny! <laughs> Yes, he's one funny jester. Oh, sorry, Squirt. They canceled the costume party. Is that video games and hot dogs? <laughs> Are you okay, Squirt? Anyone would think you hadn't seen a hot dog in a thousand years. Zooms, tis true. <laughs> 